So this is a, a staple Japanese dish, so you know nice. everyone pretty much does it. So it's a chicken and rice and egg bowl. Nice. So really simple, but the whole uh, premise behind the dish is that, you know, you've got this really rich umami um, broth which goes in the rice. You know, you've got your protein from your chicken and your egg. It's really simple and it's going to be uh, fantastic. Nice work. I haven't had a yokodam before, so I am looking forward to getting this going, which we will do very soon in the show. So we are in the Beko kitchen and today, Mark, we are making a yokodan, which is a one-pot wonder, really. So take us through exactly what we're going to need and exactly how we're going to do it. Right, so very simple. Yeah. Uh, we've got our chicken there, we've got our eggs, which we're going to use in a couple of different ways. And then we've got some uh, sake, some mirin and some soy. And that's going to make sort of, that's going to give us the flavourings for the broth and the soup pot we're going right. to do. But over here, I've yes. made some dashi. Yeah, so what this is, is like that? A, this is dashi. Dashi. So this is a base ingredient for pretty much, you know, most of Japanese recipes. So it's very simple Japanese cooking, but it has to be very precise and, and it's brilliant. If you get it right, it's just perfect. And what's in the dashi? All right, so basically a dashi is uh, water. So you make it from water stock, but then you rehydrate a kombu in there, which is dried seaweed. Okay. And then that gives you this really sort of depth of flavor or that umami flavor. Mm. Uh, and then you bring that up to the boil and then we pour lots of bonito flakes in there. Okay. And, that's, and that's very, very fine dried uh, smoked fish. Yeah. And, and that gives us really Rich, really rich sort of uh, beautiful flavor and let it all cool down yeah and then you're left with this beautiful you know strain it all out and you're left with this beautiful full of flavor and depth um stock so it's almost like a stock really but it's okay. a base oh yeah know. i can smell that straight away yeah that smells great doesn't it okay good yeah so you've got that and then so we're going to use this so we've got loads of flavor in there yep. so that goes into uh, a big pan nice bring that easy. up to the boil yep and the great thing about this is you can make a big batch of it, you know, you can keep it in the fridge for uh, two, three days or, you know, freeze it in small packets and then you just bring it out, you know. You can make um, really nice custards with this, um, any soups or pretty much any dishes, it's really good. Right, so we've got some soy sauce which is going to go in there, so yep. that'll give us some saltiness, uh, the sake, um, and then some mirin for some sweetness. So you get that sort of salty mm. sweet with like lots of depth and flavour. Right, and then we've got some onions. So just peel them, cut the tops and the, the bottoms off, the root, and then I'm just going to slice them across so you get these nice sort of uh, long slices. And this is a real staple in Japan, isn't it? Yeah, real staple, re really fast, and uh, you know, people people eat this every day. Yeah, it is fast. You look at the amount of ingredients, but imagine the flavour we're going to yeah. get out of yeah. everything by the time we've mixed it all together. Exactly, you're going to get amazing flavour, mm. and, and, and really simple and really fast. And like we were saying before, one pot wonder. So this is, you know, this really good. Um, you know, in Tokyo, if you imagine, there's so so dense with population, there's so many people living there. You know, their apartments are very very small. So you know, this all hinges down to the food as well. You know, there's oh, you need less true. space to do that to oh, do amazing yeah, I didn't food. Think about that. I'm gonna I got a little bit of sugar in there as well. And then you just want to sort of simmer that. So the yeah. onions go straight in. So we're cooking the onions into the broth. Okay, so you don't need to uh, pre-cook them first. Mm. And then we've got some mm. chicken. Okay. You know, so you could use breast if you wanted. Right, if, but you, if you've got that. Thighs. Yeah, I, I really like the thighs, so that really sort of, um, you know, keeps it a little bit more moist, gets a bit more flavour. But, you know, whatever you want to do. And I'm just going to do some nice strips. Okay. You know, try and keep it sort of quite even. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pop that in there as well. I'm going to turn it down. You can turn that down to like a little simmer. Okay. And then we just want to cook that chicken in that broth so we get all that flavour into the chicken. Make sure your chicken's cooked before we go on to the next stage. So okay. that'll probably take about sort of five, six minutes, you know, but it's always good to uh, check a big piece, take it out, cut it on the board and just, uh, you know, make sure it's cooked through. Nice. And then we're pretty much ready to go on our next stage. We're going to cook some rice. Yes. Uh, to serve it on some rice. So you okay. get like rice in the bowl, you get a bit of broth, and you get this beautiful, um, full of flavour nice. chicken on okay. top. So Brilliant. look at that. Nice. Well, it's, everything is smelling good. And we'll get the next steps of this delicious Japanese classic. And it is smelling incredible, Mark. It's beautiful. So really simple. Chicken's in now. So that's been cooking. So that's um, it's been about five minutes. So that is pretty much ready to go. Um, we've just got another minute or so cooking, or two minutes, so that will be ready by the time we uh, finish. Okay, what do we need to do now? Right, I've got some spring onions now. Oh, I've got all spring onions. Yeah, so it's going to cut the uh, tops off. And then we're going to use the green pot to garnish the dish. Nice. Um, so don't throw that away. No, no, don't throw that away. Keep you can it. use all the parts, and then uh, just the sort of white part, or the firmer part of the onion. I'm just going to sort of slice that. You know, give it a little bit of texture. You don't need to do it too fine. That nice. goes in there as well. Yeah, you're so right about it being quick, and I guess this is why they call it the pizza of Japan, yeah. isn't it? It's a go-to, it's something that people... Yeah, it's a go-to, it's yep. a staple. Easy. Um, yeah, easy, fast. Full um, of flavour, all in one pot, yeah. <laughs> which we like. Not as though it's got any... <laughs> 
<laughs> resemblance to a real pizza. It's like, mm. well, it's going to taste good, though. And when you say, when, speaking of taste, you know, we're talking flavours before. Umami, what, what do you mean when you say that? Umami, so that's like the fourth, the fourth flavour. So you've got salty, okay. sweet, right. um, sour. And umami is that sort of, you know, that really meaty flavour. Right. You know, so shiitake mushrooms, if you cook them off sometimes, and you know, you eat those, you know, it's like really meaty without being meat. Okay. And, and that's it, and that's what you get from the kombu and the dried seaweed, you know, that, that gives you that depth of flavour. Nice, so that's umami. Thank you. Okay, good. Understood. Okay. Right, so what you're going to do, the chicken's ready, so you can see the broth is reduced a little bit so it's concentrated in flavour. So you want to make sure you don't reduce it too much mm -hmm. because you've got that soy in there and it's just going to be too intense. Yeah, I'm, so I'm a really bit, and, enjoying this. Yeah, and you want, you want a bit of uh, broth as well for your soup, so it's going to soak it all up and it's just make it a full meal. Right, so I've got a couple of eggs in there, yeah. whisk them together. Mm. And then sort of turn this down to sort of like a simmer. Right. And then what we're going to do is pour it in a steady stream and just sort of stir it. Use the heat of the broth just to cook that egg. So that all goes in there. And you'll see when it cooks because you'll get these all flecks of white oh, on the actual brilliant. egg set. Brilliant. You know, so that's giving you more protein. It's thickening up the broth a little bit as well. Oh, you you know, can that see is nearly ready to go. Out. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so you can see that. Uh, I'm just going to chop this. So this is a bit of garnish. I've got a little bit of um, togarashi here, which is like a, a Japanese sort of pepper oh, okay. mix, sort of a bit of chilli. So you've got a bit of spice there. So that's um, yeah. So you just sprinkle that over the top, or okay. just before you serve. Or just before you serve. Yeah, right. if you want. <laughs> you can, that in. You can, no, you can put you can put some in there. It's okay. entirely up to you. And then I've kept one egg as well. And what we're going to do is going to separate the white from the yolk, and we're just going to serve it with a nice um, raw egg yolk on top. And then when you mix that around, a bit like a steak tartare, just gives you that extra richness. You know, that's optional, but that is part of the dish, so I do recommend trying that. Well, everything is smelling brilliant here. And, and there you go, so that's fast. It. It's, 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 it's so fast. So fast, yeah. <laughs> well, we are done. <laughs> okay, serve it up. I'm on an early lunch. <laughs> of course, the recipe is available on our website along with the full ingredient list, so make sure you have a go at home. And good on you, Mark. This looks incredible. Yeah. 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 Wait till yeah. you taste this. Great.